Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, and today's video is going to be my July reads and studies. I haven't done one of these videos in a minute and I really miss doing them, so I am going to dive right back into that. So I'm going to start off with the things that I'll be studying for the month of July. So you guys know that I use my Journal of the Word, New King James Version Translation Bible from Thomas Nelson to do all of my Bible journaling and my Bible studies. I will still be studying the book of Psalms. I only made it to Psalm 67. I've honestly been slacking on that. Um, so right now I need to complete Psalm 68. But I'm doing that and I'm currently studying Mark. I should have finished. I should have honestly been finished with Mark. But um, I've been taking my time really taking it in. And um, it's it's going really good. If you guys can see like the notes that I have. I'm going to finish the last portion of that today once I'm done with the video. But that's what I'm basically studying book wise. Psalms and um, Mark. I'm also doing a chronological study with my sis Angela over at Transform Through God's Word. Check out her YouTube channel and her Facebook group. She's actually doing a chronological study of the Bible and I'll be using my handy trusty old um, woman's study Bible by Thomas Nelson and the King James Translation. Right now we're going through Genesis chapters 1 and 2. So I have already started diving into that marking it up and stuff like that um right now i'm still doing chapters one and all the way to verse two three i think it is um but they're up to the second and third chapter right now i'm a little bit behind so i have that and then to do all my notes i do have a separate notebook here it has all of my notes in here so far for the chronological study so i mean I'm taking my time with this study. There's notes on the back too. I still have to dive deeper into the notes, but um, I'm going to be doing that. And the last study that I'll be doing is Seamless by Angie Smith. Um, which you will see this in my book haul because I did purchase this for the study. But the Proverbs 31 ministry is doing uh, online Bible study on the on this book, Seamless. And um, I want to stick with it. I've tried, but it's just a lot going on with the chronological study and then doing my studies of Psalm as well as uh, Mark. So I decided to put this study on hold, but I will be doing the video sessions. So I'll be doing the video sessions only to this. That way I can watch the videos and take my notes. The last thing I'll be studying is the Gospel of John, which you guys know if you're studying it along with me here on YouTube or in the Facebook group. I've studied John already, loved it, and I'm restudying it with you guys as I lead the Bible study in it. So the books of the Bible I'm studying are Psalms, Mark, the Gospel of John, and genesis as of right now and then i'll be watching the video sessions to seamless so that's pretty much it for like the things that i'm studying and then for the books that i have so i have five books right now that i'm reading and a possible one that i'll be reading next but um the first one is this one here which is the psalms 90 devotions from our daily bread you guys know that i do this along with me studying the book of psalms so right now like i said i'm on psalm 68 so that's basically where I am and this is getting to Psalm 68. I'm actually going to be finishing this book up in like two days or so but um it's the Women of the Word How to Study the Bible with Both Our Hearts and Our Minds by Jen Wilkin. I am absolutely loving this book. A book review will be coming on this book. I think this is one of those crucial books to help you build your own study routine. I really enjoy this book. Um, though a lot of the methods I already knew for myself, I liked the way she bro broke it down and then the example she gave in chapter 8 was phenomenal. Um, she even showed how to, I guess, Bible journal in a sense. This is probably one of my favorite pages in this book. I really do love this book. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I've been highlighting and marking. Not sure if you guys can tell. Probably not. But um, I've really been enjoying that. I am rereading through Cling by Kim Cash Tate. I am loving this. This is the Daughter of Increase um, book club pick for the summer. It's an 11-week book club, and I'm so excited that we're diving into this. This week, we've just been reading the introduction and we watched the first video session. So I'm excited for that. And a book review for this book will come once I'm done with that book club. 
the next book is actually a review book that i was sent um i have a bunch of review books which you will see in my uh june book haul but this was one that really called my attention and i'm reading it and i only got through the introduction 29 pages loving every single minute of this book it is by dr larry crab and it's called when god when god's ways make no sense and this came right on time when i was dealing with something that really almost broke me um and this book has been so good to read so far i mean you guys i am really like writing and marking up this book as you can see, I am taking notes in the whole nine. So I'm loving this book. Um, so the last two books are actually Christian fiction, and I don't have them on me. I actually have them on ebook on my cell phone. But um, the first one that I'm currently reading is called Pearl in the Sand by Tessa Afshar. Afshar I think her name is Tessa Afshar I'll put the image I guess on this side of the screen here for you to see but it's the story of Rahab and Salome I think that's how you pronounce his name and um, I am loving it I'm 70% of the way through with this book and it is such a phenomenal book Rahab was a prostitute um, but she was actually put into prostitution by her father at the age of 15 and it was basically when Israel went to basically take the land of Jericho and how Joshua had them march around the wall seven times and then make the loud, the loud noise. If you heard about that story about the walls of Jericho coming down, um, then that's what the story is about. And I'm, I'm loving it, you guys. I'm going to do a whole video on like Christian fiction because I found that I really do enjoy the biblical fiction novels so much. I've read four Christian fiction novels, three Christian fiction novels so far, um, four with the one that I'm currently reading. Um, but after that, I want to read, uh, oh my god, what is it called? In the Fields of Grace, I believe it is. The image will be here. Um, it's also by Tessa Afshar, and it's about the story of Ruth and Boaz, and I'm excited to read that because I do love the story of Ruth so much. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the books that I'm reading, the Psalms Devotional, Women of the Word, Cling, when God's Ways Make No Sense, and then I'm also reading the two Christian biblical fictions, which are Pearl in the Sand, which is a story of Rahab and Salome, and then also I want to, right after I'm done with that, I want to dive into uh, In the Fields of Grace, which is a story of Ruth and Boaz, by um, both by Tessa Afshar, Afshar, if I'm pronouncing her name right. But um, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm definitely going to try to get back into making these videos because I really find these videos helpful um, for me myself so that I can go back and see what I studied and what I read and stuff like that. And also just to share some things that I'm doing with you guys as well. But that's pretty much it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!